Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. A new regulatory capability for advanced drone pilots in Canada is called Sheltered Operations. In this video, I'll discuss how it works and actually give you a demo, including some key tips for success. Sheltered Operations is new in the 2025 Canadian RPAS regulations and is a capability available to all existing and new advanced RPAS pilots starting from November the 4th, 2025. In a nutshell, the Sheltered Operation Rule allows you to legally fly your drones or RC aircraft over 250 grams out of visual line of sight behind a building or other structure. This could be extremely useful for real estate shots, construction analysis, or ground surveys, perhaps. The 2025 Canadian Aviation Regulations includes a definition for sheltered operations and a new rule, 901.74, both of which need to be seen together to fully understand how it works. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read the actual text, or just hang in there and I'll explain it more simply. So, in layman's terms, a sheltered operation means flying your drone or RC aircraft behind a building or structure out of visual line of sight. It must be a building or structure. This rule cannot be applied to flying behind trees or hills or through fog or anything like that. Just buildings or structures. When you do this, you must stay close to the structure, within 61 meters or 200 feet horizontally and 30 meters or 100 feet vertically above the structure, which in my opinion is a fairly reasonable envelope to work within. You also need to stay 30 meters or 100 feet away from any bystanders. You can do all of this up to 3.7 kilometers away, but frankly at that distance you may very well be also executing the new extended VLOS kind of an operation. Now I have another video talking about that, but assuming the building is you know, reasonably close by, within normal visual line of sight, you don't need a spotter. No spotter is required to do a sheltered operation. Let me demonstrate this and share some practical tips. Now, I'm filming this before the rule is in effect, so I'm actually going to use a sub 250 gram drone to stay legal, because I can do that out of visual line of sight at any point, as long as I'm doing it safely. But after November the 4th, 2025, you can do this kind of operation with drones over 250 grams. My mission is going to be to launch from this parking area and fly around an old train station, the one behind me, and specifically to get a shot of the Aaronsville sign on the far side of the building. Now, the first issue you'll face is figuring out where that 61 meter horizontal distance is. In Drone Pilot Canada, a really handy way to determine this is to set one of your guidance circles to 61 meters. To do this, go to the dot menu, do a long press on one of the circle items, I'll pick the smaller one, and type in 0.061 and hit the set kilometers button. Now I can tap on the train station and identify landmarks that will keep me within that 61 meters distance. In this example, as long as I don't go past the other building over there, I'm okay. The only catch is that the other building is the Lakeview Tavern, so I need to be particularly careful to watch for and avoid bystanders. Now from an altitude perspective, it's a bit easier. I need to remain no higher than 30 meters above the building when my drone is out of sight. But how do I figure that out if I don't know how the high the building actually is? Well, an easy way to do it is to pop your drone up, set your camera on perfectly horizontal, and then rise up until the top of the building is in the middle of your screen. Take note of your altitude, that's the height of the building, and then add 30 meters to that to determine your ceiling. Pretty easy. So, with your flight envelope in mind, I would recommend you first fly to a position, well, roughly over the building, and then use your drone to scan around for bystanders. When you're clear, do your shot as quickly and safely as possible, staying within the flight envelope, and then return home. So there you have it, Sheltered Operations, a new option for advanced drone pilots to legally fly out of visual line of sight around buildings or structures. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to share them below the video. Thanks for watching.